and condemns Nigeria's membership of Islamic organization. Christian leaders have condemned in strong terms Nigeria membership in Islamic organizations and have called on the National Assembly to see to the country's exit from them. Those at the meeting called by Rev. Dr. Samson Olasipo, the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, can, included the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Jared Bo, the presiding bishop, Living Faith Church Worldwide. Bishop David Oidpo, the General Overseer, the Redeemed Evangelical Mission, TREM, Archbishop Mike Conquo, former Ken President, Pastor Ayo Orch Jiffer, Ken Vice President, Elder Professor Joseph Achubu, Ken General Secretary, Relevant Dr. Musa Asak, Ken Treasurer, Bishop Anthony Aniador, Legal Advisor, Bar Samuel Kwamku, Youth Leader, Dan Kazier. In a communique released after the meeting on Tuesday, November 7, the Christian leader also spoke about the situation of the country asking the government to take steps to better the lives of the people. The communique read, Ken calls on the National Assembly to compile the list of all organizations Nigeria belongs to and all the treaties signed with a view to dropping all the religious ones. That we declare the inability of the state governments to pay workers salaries and allowances as at when do as unacceptable and call on the federal and state governments to work together to do this. Can calls of the National Assemblies to prevail on the states in the north of the country try to henceforth be issuing certificate of occupancy to the churches there to build their houses of worship? That can calls on the federal government to address the issue of breakdown of infrastructure such as roads, electricity supply, provision of adequate funding of health facilities in the nation so as to stop the untimely death of our people and medical pilgrimage abroad. We call on the government to declare the state of emergency on the unemployment in the nation and deliberately set up machineries towards provision of employment for many school graduates who are roaming the streets or becoming a nuisance in the society through the commission of many crimes. We condemn in strong terms the failure of the security agencies to stop the murderous Fulani herdsmen from their criminal activities. The forum condemns in a strong term government's decision to lead Nigeria into being member of Islamic coalition against terrorism through executive fiat, Nigeria's participation in the International Islamic Sports Federation, Nigeria's membership of International Islamic Financial Institution of which our present governor of the central bank is the chairman. Didn't all these violate the constitution? Rev. Okun in his address accused the federal government of Islamizing the country. He said, almost all the steps to be taken to Islamize Nigeria have been completed through the subtle actions of our rulers who were and are Muslims. Our government has donated billions of naira into this Islamization agenda. Those in government who are either Christians or Muslims or those outside it are either ignorant of the truth or are mischievous when they say that there is no plan to Islamize Nigeria. The fact that the United States of America, United Kingdom, France and South Africa had adopted Sukuk or any other Islamic financial system does not change our position that our government does not have the right to be implementing the Islamization agenda of EAL quoted above because our constitution does not permit them to do so in a society with plural religion like ours. Much more. The Western societies above that had adopted Islamic financial system in question were the same that adopted homosexuality. Does it mean that it was because homosexuality was the right thing that they adopted it? Let me state in the same vein that this meeting is not called to incite anyone against our Muslim brothers and sisters neither is it intended to mean in opposition to the government of the day. 
It is rather to call us to awareness of the dangers around us and to call the attention of those in power in this nation as I said before to their actions that are unconstitutional and suggest preference for one religion at the expense of the others. For us to continue to do pilgrimage together as a nation, there must be justice, fair play and a mutual respect for all irrespective of religion, ethnic group or political affiliation, otherwise, things may fall apart.